I want to thank this team. You know, this team, I tell them all the time, greatness, it's not your destiny. It's a decision that you have to make. And this team made a decision to be great. It's not your right to be great. You're not entitled to be great. It's a decision that you have to make. And this team made that decision. They were special from day one. It doesn't take long to get around this bunch, and you know what I'm talking about. The leadership, the focus, the commitment, and the will to win was special. We always say that champions are made when the stands are empty. Championships are won when nobody's watching. And we always say that you have to earn it. You gotta earn it. And you earn it through your effort, you earn it through your accountability, doing what's right, and nourishing the concept of team and family. These guys were the epitome of that. They earned it. And nobody gave them anything. I didn't give them anything. They earned it. They earned it. My challenge to them this season was that we were going to have to accept the challenge each week with what we said, the eye, the eye of the tiger and the heart of a champion. And the way I explained that to him was, when I think about the eye of the tiger, I think about a focused intensity. Not just intensity, a focused intensity. And when I think about the heart of a champion, I'm not talking about passion. I'm talking about focused passion on the challenge in front of us. And I, and I tried to explain it to him this way, and I would point it out every week, because it's hard to define what the eye of the tiger and the heart of a champion is. But you know it when you see it, and you know it when you don't. This team specifically, these seniors, they wanted to be the best ever. That was something that they, they I kind of challenge them every year with some different things, and they wanted to know how many wins did they have to have to be the winning of senior class. Well, they needed 50. Well, they got 55. I told them, if you're going to be the best ever, you got to be willing to do things that ain't ever been done. You got to be willing to put the work in. You got to stay focused. You got to commit. You got to lead. And they were willing to do that. And then I read them a quote because I said, why not? Little old Clemson. Somebody's going to be 15 and 0 one day. It's going to happen. Why not Clemson? Why not? So I challenge these guys with this quote. It says, what you can vividly imagine and ardently believe and enthusiastically act upon will inevitably come to be. And we talked about that. So here's what that means. It means you got to dream big. It means you got to believe big. And then it means you have to enthusiastically Take action. That word enthusiasm means God within. That's what it means. Enthusiastically take action because the difference between a dream and reality is action. You got to put the work in. You got to put the work in and you got to be about it. This team set out to be about it from day one. And Monday night you saw a team enthusiastically act upon their dream and belief. The 2018 team is the best ever. Drop the mic, the best ever. And they have set a standard, and they have set a standard for all future teams. But I want to say this, it's not how, it's not, it's not that we won, it's how we won. And I want to say that loud and clear. This team had the highest GPA in Clemson football history. Not only are they the best ever, they had the highest team GPA we've ever had. 66 guys, 3.0 or better, most we've ever had. We had the, there were 80 bowl teams. We had the most graduates of any bowl team. We won the AFCA number one academic award and then as you know, the Campbell Trophy with Christian Wilkins. So what I want you to know, again, 
It's not that we won. It's how we won. And these trophies, these trophies do not define us. The culture of our program is what truly defined, defines us. This trophy, this championship, this moment, it's just part of our journey. It's ain't the destination. It's just part of our journey. It's just a part of it. And it's a part of Clemson's journey. And you seniors, it's just a part of your journey. God put our eyes in front of our head because it's always about attacking what's next. Every day, y'all walk in that team meeting room and it's always about what's next. Our eyes are in front of our head because it's about what's next. Fixing our eyes directly on what's in front of us. For you seniors, it's life. It's your marriages. It's the NFL. It's your jobs. Man, you attack it. You attack it with the eye of the tiger and the heart of a champion, and you apply that best as the standard. And that's exactly what you're going to get. And for the 2019 team, it's academics. It's weight room, Joey B. It's the spring, it's the summer, and it's a new season, a new journey, and a new challenge. And I've said all year, I told these guys all year long, don't have any doubt. Why would you have any doubt? Why would you have any doubt? Can't you just look and see what we've been able to do? Don't have any doubt. And I told our team all year, everything that we've done once over the past 10 years, we had done again except win the national championship. We won our first division in 09. Well, now we've won seven. We won our first ACC championship in 11. Now we've won five. We had our first 10-win season in 11. Now we've had eight. We won our first state championship. Now we've won five in a row. We got to our first CFP. Now we've been to four in a row. And now we've won our second national championship.